Hey guys, so by now I'm sure you've heard that our social dis distancing is going to continue through April. Fun. Yeah, sorry. Um, through this time, I wanted to talk about different ways that you can serve others while still respecting the social distancing uh, rules. Um, we really want to see how we can be more Christ-like through this whole situation, right? That's really our goal in life is to be more Christ-like. And in Mark 10, verse 45, Jesus said, you know, for even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve. So how can you serve others during this time? Here are some ideas, uh, and I'll put a list at the end of the, um, in the comments of this video so that you can kind of see them, but I just wanted to run through them with you. Um, first, write and mail a letter to someone, uh, to a loved one. It takes some time to, uh, to write a letter, and um, it lets people know that you care about them, that you're thinking about them. Two, um, how about teach a family member uh, to do something that you love? Do you have a hobby that you don't necessarily share with your family? Um, maybe like crafting? Take some time and show them what you do. Maybe you play basketball and they don't really understand the sport. So take some time out to share how that sport goes. Uh, make it a bonding moment. Uh, send an encouraging email to an authority um, who is faced with difficult decisions. Right now, our authority figures are making a lot of decisions all the time based on information that is changing daily. And it's hard. Um, they are, are, are getting it uh, from both sides, people saying they're doing it wrong, people who say they're doing it right or not doing enough. Um, so send them an email and just kind of encourage them. You can send a letter to your um, school administrator, um, to the city mayor, uh, to your pastor, um, to anyone in authority who's having to make decisions at this time. Uh, send them an email and just say, hey, we, we thank you for um, caring about us and you know trying to make these decisions. Um, four, spend intentional time with each of your family members. I know you're cooped up with them for a while, but try to spend some time with each person individually in your family to try to get to know them a little bit better. Um, maybe your mom's a great baker, so bake something with her. Uh, maybe you have a little brother or a little sister who loves Legos. Take some time, build Legos with them. Uh, just spend some time doing something that they enjoy. And fifth, check on your peers and do it often. Uh, people are feeling real lonely right now. Uh, send a text, Snapchat, Facebook, um, Instagram, whatever. <laughs> but take a moment to say hi and let people know that you're thinking about them. All right, guys, we are definitely thinking about you. We miss you. And uh, it's really a bummer that it's going to be at least another month here before we see you in person. Um, but hey, feel free to give us a call if you want to chat. Um, you can text or email us. And uh, of course, check us out on Sunday nights uh, when we're doing our Zoom meetings for our Refuge Youth Group. All right, guys, take care.